It's midnight on the 1st of August and I'm documenting my experiences of very dangerous um, developments that have been occurring due to individuals that have been conducting research and development or indeed um, efforts or initiatives unlawfully without my consent um, that they have been uh, prospering from and uh, basically exacerbating their wrongdoings with regard to since um, the unlawful care order of my child in January 2017. So there's there's a very serious issue that's been um, raised in this upload and it's not just with regard to the lack of ethics um, or proper conduct in this entire um, vendetta of violence against humanity in Tralee County Kerry since hate crime commenced against my child and I. Um, so the Tusa Child and Family Agency are one aspect and factor that haven't addressed their failings, shortcomings and wrongdoings when they unlawfully withheld my child from me. There's also the issue of liabilities in this community that have been um, trespassing not only into my personal space and my property, but have been violating my personal physical well-being. Um, now, my work has been vast. As I've mentioned, uh, my work has positively affected Ireland and the UK. And as I've mentioned, it gave birth to COVID. So there are highly incompetent uh, individuals in this circumstance that have been highly irresponsible and that have been jeopardizing this entire situation of progress. Um, they haven't conducted themselves in any fashion, um, morally, ethically or professionally. Um, they haven't confronted their procedural obligations. Now, it's bad enough that they've offended my royal bloodline that's one aspect but there's the other aspect as well of identity theft that has been occurring and people imposing upon me not just on my farms in Ardfart and Kilflynn that they have illegally uh, conducted affairs that are not actually authentic these people have been quite liberal in their illegalities with regard to my properties which it, it's a fraud, basically. So there are people that are discussing not only um, research and development with regard to NEFET, um, Natura Wildlife Programming um, is in a lovely community development legislative um, initiative also. Um, and as I've mentioned, um, the damages to my avatar light body as a, s a spiritual sentient being um, hasn't seemed to be registering in these people's mindsets that are preoccupied and obsessed and mentally deficient in any possible positive progress at all at all. Since 2006 Tralee County Kerry has been ducking and diving and dodging um, defamation of my good name and to this day after harms to my innocent child um, in an unlawful care placement since 2017 and trying to disrespect my matrimony and my home and so on and so forth, my health has also been violated. Now that's really a poor reflection on developments with Nefet and individuals then that are not just unprofessional, but obviously not working with the basics of common sense and common courtesy. So they're not just showing how they're incompetent, unprofessional and inconsiderate, insensitive, irresponsible. Um, they have just poured a whole lot of disinformation, disrespect and defamation onto a scene um, that is of poor social influencing. So they're social influencers, but they're setting a really bad example and they're not working within the premise of propriety and they don't have any um, standards adhered to. So um, those individuals, those legal eagles that are negotiating illegally or unlawfully anything to do with my marriage to my husband, Richard McElligot, anyone going near my farm or my my farms or my home 
in our Twert and Kilflin, um, I, I can't say how much of a risk you're bringing upon yourselves after all the damages and debt and defamation and the harms to the only heir that I gave birth to on the 14th of the 10th, 2015, that Tusla has unlawfully withheld from me. So there's been an obstruction of not just my constitutional rights, there's been an obstruction of my human rights. And there are people misunderstanding this present circumstance where I'm living. It's not an open house. And there have been people coming and going from this building without um, the TDs up in Doyle Erin honouring their obligations to a woman of legislation, um, that they have obligations to respect protocol, protection, privacy and personal well-being. Now, my personal space has been intruded upon by stalkers, uh, repeat offenders and professionals and practitioners that have not done their job right. And these people are very intelligent, they're very knowledgeable, they're very um, patriotic, but they don't seem to respect the Constitution. So it makes me wonder how um, ardent their cause is when it's so unworthy disrespecting the Constitution. It baffles me, really. So um, I'm just curious about the initiatives behind damages done to the environment and my farms. Um, I'm also con concerned about any practitioners that think they're above the law of medicine um, and so on and so forth that would be disrespecting women's health. So they've been benefiting from my work. COVID has done so much um, to help lives. Um, there have been positive instances from COVID and that has arisen from my purpose. So there are people, as I've mentioned, of creative intellectual theft and these people are of liable and liability. They don't seem to be able to conduct themselves properly at all at all. Um, as I've mentioned, they've instigated isolation, withholding information, presenting disinformation, and that's for monopolization of a circumstance that's very unsafe. So um, I, I, all my life, have worked as an educator, humanitarian, um, and um, my community, my hometown, um, I, I've, like, since I was that high, I've contributed to this society. So um, as a, as a middle-aged woman experiencing medical negligence and treating that medical negligence on my own, I'm really concerned about individuals that are barging into my privacy and thinking that disrespecting the constitution of the country is saving the democracy for the debts that are owed. Fighting the debts that I'm owed is quite dangerous. Um, anyone, as I've mentioned, that has been involved in the wrongdoings of legally withholding my baby boy from me since 2017, any obstructions, obstacles, etc. Um, and then to be disrespecting the church. Oh, my goodness. Do you know what I mean? So I'm still married, <laughs> even though there are people trying to um, financially impoverish me while they're living off my wealth, uh, withholding um, their, you know, the, the, their obligations, not presenting themselves um, professionally as they're supposed to. Um, this this building where I am, there aren't other tenants meant to be in this arrangement. There aren't other people to be coming and going from a woman's personal space where I'm living. Um, the government has obligations and duties, and there are people that have just shamed the democracy and the constitution. It's very embarrassing, and I'm concerned about their mental health and their mouths, that they have not kept their mouths clean. They have been of false reporting and wasting taxpayers' money. So with the um, issues that arose from 2018, uh, 20, 2018, I'm surprised that there'd be uh, endeavours to exacerbate the financial matters that were, you know, an issue after my humanitarian work in 2018. And it would be awfully sad for the UK that uh, the birth of COVID that arose from this purpose, my purpose, would be disrespected as well. So those that are trying to rewrite the script with different actors, um, I, 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 I'm concerned for you.
And um, I'm concerned for your mental health and your futures if you think you're going to be uh, living off my work and my wealth and disrespecting the church of my matrimony that is still intact, even though there is more fraud still going on in this country. So I'm concerned about the mental health of people. I'm concerned about um, any individuals that can't do their jobs properly. I'm concerned about the erratic behaviour of people that have been impulsive and impetuous to be uh, barging into a person's life where they've no right to be. So those people that have an identity crisis and that have disrespected my ancestors and that have been spewing nonsense, silly talk. We know the stories that have come from this community um, about all sorts of situations that have been so silly, so silly. It's so, so childish, but so dangerous um, how silly these uh culprits are it's irresponsible um we all know the stories storylines that they've been uh, spewing out and we know their defamation and their track record and repertoire of bad productions so I'm, I'm really concerned about anyone self-respecting their own identity or their own profession um supporting any further silly behaviors or any silly stories um especially when it's wasting taxpayers money and when you're living off wealth from exploitation of my purpose so I, I just I this is for the attention of the United Nations there's a problem in the country of Ireland um, the TDs up in Doyle Aaron are fully aware of the circumstance since 2017 and medicine research and development etc AI the whole lot nature and wildlife and the church is being disrespected so there's blasphemy going on as well so I really hope uh, the United Nations takes this a little bit more seriously. Um, I've been communicating with you for the past four years, four years, I think it is. And um, these people that are of obstacles and obstructions have put people's lives at risk due to their incompetence. So um, there's a problem in County Kerry. Um, it's being exacerbated. They're disturbers of the peace, uh, causing disharmony and disrespecting women and children's rights. So I'd appreciate any self-dignified um, representative of the United Nations to address the very serious shortcomings in the democracy of Ireland. It's a very sad sign of the times what I'm tolerating. I'd hate for COVID to be disrespected as well. <laughs>